All right, so we're already ending the first quarter. How are we doing so far? Like, like seriously, like honestly, hello, is this mic on? How are we doing so far? Have you reached all the things that you said you're gonna reach? We're basically at entering the second half of this year and I can guarantee you this, and this is how I know this. I can guarantee you this, that most of you have already slowed down and whether it's your fitness, whether it's your business, whether it's your career, whatever it is, you slow down. And here's how I know. And, I, and this is just one example. And I could only imagine how, el how, how, how it is with everything else in life in general. So I'm looking at my fitness watch, right? And, and I don't mean to be that guy, but I am. You know, I, I, I love to be connected with my community. I love to see when others are, um, you know, completing their workouts. I love that, I'm a big fan of that, right? And this is not to call out anybody in particular, but what I've noticed is that a lot of you guys are slowing down. I don't know if you're not um, wearing your Apple Watch. I don't know what's actually happening, but but the interesting about this is, is that I'm starting to notice most of you guys started off strong. You know, you guys are, you know, getting the gym, getting it in, you know, doing what you need to do to accomplish the goals that you set out. But for some reason, something happens went around March and April. You know, you get so fight. Why, like, why is that? Uh, have you ever wondered that? Like, yo, why are most people so fired up at the top of the year? And then when it comes around March and April, I mean, this I'm not the first one to mention this, and I'm pretty sure you're aware of this as well. But here's what I would like to do. I'm going to mention about eight different keys that you should write down right now. And I know you will because you're serious. You want to improve yourself right now. And this is what it's all about. This whole channel is about transformation, whether it's physical, whether it's mental, whether it's spiritual, whatever it is, even finances, I can connect you with to the uh, financial resources here. But my main thing about this whole channel is to help you transform. Why? Why do I have a passion about this, you ask? Take a wild guess because I was there too. Just a quick backstory. Um, I was the type of guy, and I was just thinking about this earlier, where um, growing up, I was told this one thing, I'm not your friend anymore. Now you might be thinking, I was probably the, you might be thinking, I was one of the kids that probably told you I wasn't your friend, right? But here's what got me the most. What got me the most is that growing up subconsciously, Every time someone will pull back away from me or no longer talk to me or whatever the case may be, I've always felt like it was my fault. I've always felt like I messed up, right? I've always felt like I, like, like I wasn't good enough. I always felt like I was the underdog. I always felt like I was just trying to, 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 be, to do the most to earn people's approval. And, and it wasn't until recently, actually, not recently in a say like yesterday or something like that, but it wasn't until I got a little older and mature after I had kids and after I, you know, went through a whole, uh, a whole big, basically tragedy, um, most would say, but I, I looked at it as a lesson, right? I, I got out of there and realized I have to hold myself together. Greater is he that is in me than he is in the world, right? So, the point of this is that I'm gonna give you eight steps to recover, eight simple keys. Now, if you try these things, write it down now. If you try this, I guarantee you, you will go from being fired up and maintain that, that fire within you without burning out. I got you right now, okay? So I'm gonna pause the video, take a moment, write these keys down. I promise you, you do not want to miss these keys. All right, so number all right, so number 1, set yourself some goals. Be realistic too. Be clear, like literally spend some time meditating, set some goals, right? And once you set these goals, you have to organize these goals. Number 2, surround yourself with like-minded people. Now, I know you hear this. You ever heard the saying, you become everyone that you hang around with, right? You have you ever heard if you hang around five broke people, you become the sixth. We all heard these things before, right? And so Make sure you surround yourself with people that have the same exact goals and they're as driven as you are, right? And, and by the way, um, connect yourself. Connect with yourself with a community. I happen to go to church, right? And I love my church. And this year, the, the, the word of the Lord is driven. So we're called to be driven. So if we want to be driven, you have to be around people that want to be driven as well. You, you got to surround yourself with like-minded people. Number three. Now, we could agree. 
doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result is called what? What is it called? Exactly, it's called insanity. Well, you don't wanna do that. So number three, evaluate what you're doing. If it's not working, then totally scratch it out. Like don't beat yourself up about it, all right? Number four, learn a new skill set. You must, le now this is, this is very important. And um, one of the things that helped me, like see when I first started my fitness journey, um, I was learning Zumba. That's what really triggered a decrease of weight. So in other words, I lost a lot of weight because I was doing Zumba, I was so fired up. I was doing my meal plan. I was just fired up and learning these new things. Now, since I've overcame all those obstacles and I was able to drop 60 pounds and do a total transformation, I'm here to now share with you guys learning a new skill set. I'm learning something like YouTube, you know, or, or a podcast, something that I'm doing right now. I'm learning something new, okay? Now again, these are tips if you wanna help yourself improve, if you wanna get back to being fired up like you were when you first started at the top of this year saying, yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Number five, <laughs> this is one of my favorites. And I battled myself with this, I'm gonna be honest. When I first started my, again, I'm gonna go back to my fitness journey. When I first started my fitness journey, I was like a health freak. You know, I was pretty much, uh, and I mean that respectfully, I was eating everything healthy. Everything had to be extremely healthy. And, and that's what you should do. Number five, eat healthy, right? Now don't go to a point, you know, you got cheat meals, you know, but I would suggest doing a cheat meal after 60 days of you transforming right once you see a transformation then you can do your little cheat meals but more importantly overall the overall idea is to eat as healthy as you can meaning you know um, make sure you have high quality food you know you don't want things from places such as mcdonald's burger king now that's debatable some people say you know it's okay but we all know that what the truth is about that um, if you're comfortable with how they process their food then hey that's cool there's no shots there there's no shade over there that's cool if you're comfortable with the quality but eventually you keep eating that food um, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years old, 70 years old, eventually you're gonna have some type of things that are gonna cause you to uh, not live long. So, number six, be compassionate to others. Now, here's the thing. Most people, when they start their journey, and this is what you should know, this is probably gonna be a whole other video. Most people, when they start their journey or they start to self-improve, they get on this little high horse, and this, this was me before, by the way where I thought, it wasn't like I thought I was good enough, like too good for other people, but what I realized is that I was on such another, uh, I was on another path, right? On a, on a whole another page, and a whole higher frequency, however you wanna call it. Um, Cause I'm trying to relate to everybody that's listening to me right now and be considerate of that, right? Um, I was in one direction and everybody else was on a whole different other, a whole another path. And so everything that would come out of my mouth would be something that's gonna help them. Now, I'm thinking in my mind, I'm helping them, but in reality, when you're not ready to actually change, you're not going to, it's, it's harder to receive with the person that's trying to help you. You understand what I'm saying? So in other words, if, if, I'm, if I'm overweight, like, you know, the person I was, you know, a couple of years ago, and I hear someone saying, man, you gotta, you gotta wake up 5 a.m. You gotta start eating, you know, um, all these, drink all these shakes, man. You gotta cut out the crap, cut out the fast food. Like he's coming at me aggressive, like, yo, chill. You know, some people take longer than others. Some people are delayed. Some people have um, a hard time adjusting, right? So we gotta be compassionate, understand and say, hey, do a different approach, you know, say, hey, look, I understand where you, you know, you're looking to do this, right? You're looking to accomplish this. And I know where you're at right now. And I understand how you may feel but I am here for you and if you need anything, let me know, right? Have compassion. Seven, make sure you have a clean space. Now, this is one of the things that I had to work on. You know, at, at some point in my life, I was just so disorganized. And um, if you looked at me, if you looked how I was a few years back, you'd be like, man, how did you even, you know? So I believe it's important. And the reason why I believe it's important is because clarity is power right? The more clear you are. Imagine moving into a home, a new home, a brand new home. And you have all this furniture. You have like all this different furniture that's just overwhelming, right? You have all this different clutter, right? And that's how our minds are. That's how our minds are right now. We're learning new information. So now our minds are like this furniture in a new home or a new condo, a new space. And we're trying to figure things out, not realizing that our minds are colored. And not, not only that, our apartments, or our homes are cluttered. And now what ends up happening is now you feel overwhelmed. Even the thought of 
me thinking that right now got me overwhelmed. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> oh my, oh Lord. <laughs> like, you know, so um, make sure you have a clear space so that way you can think clearly, right? And number eight, this is the most important thing. You gotta stay active. And this brings me back to a full circle, why I love uh, my Apple Watch, you know, and I have a whole video. Um, of course, I'm gonna do a shameless plug on that, um, where you could watch the, the reasons why I love my Apple Watch. You know, you get connected with the community, um, you get to see everybody's activities, but the more active you are, I'm telling you right now, the more, not only will your mind get distracted from, um, because some people deal with certain things, you know, this is real life, we're dealing with world issues, right? Like, we could agree, we're dealing with some real stuff right here, and, um, the more that you stay still and you think and you dwell on these things, people become depressed, people become isolated, people become a whole nother person. Meanwhile, if you just get up, get out and do something, get active, your mind will shift and focus and keep you in motion to where you were looking to go in the first place, which again, brings it back to a full circle. You need to get out of that funk. I know you're in a funk right now. It's 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 almost the middle of the year. You said you're gonna do this, but you're you're, you're all you're so far behind. Now, if you're not, that's cool. Like this isn't. It, hey, clap it up to you, you know. But if if you are, I suggest you follow these keys. All right. This is Fit with Fan. Listen, my goal, my job is to help you continue to grow, transform, transition, so you could be the best version of yourself. God bless you.